Meat lovers, rejoice because today kakain tayo ng juicy, tender, and fatty steaks. How do you like your steak? Please comment them down below. I would love to know. Ako naman, share ko lang, I like my steak marbled and medium rare. So, kapag yung steak ko may fat, parang for me, mas na-enhance niya yung flavor nung lean cut. Anyway, para malaman natin kung paano naging kakaiba itong steak na titikman natin, I will take you to the kitchen so that you can see firsthand how they prepare the steak. This is Taste Manila and we are in Nanka Japanese Steakhouse. Chef Mike Santos of Nanka Japanese Steakhouse, and he is going to show us how you do. Tell us everything about the tray. Okay, this is our steak tray. Whenever someone orders um, steak, we bring this out. These are the basic steaks that we have. The black onyx are our Angus steaks. No, it's pure Angus beef. This is um, Wagyu cross, which is a crossbreed of Wagyu and Angus. And this is the pure Wagyu from Japan, A5. The Angus have a marble score of 3+. plus. What's marble? Marbling is the ratio of fat to the meat content. Now, as you can see, there's more meat than fat. This is a black onyx. When we come to the pure Angus, a little more fat than the meat. The midpoint, which is the Wagyu cross, which is that's why it's a great product, you have the meatiness and the protein taste, the iron taste of the, the Angus, and then you have the fattiness, the butteriness of the Wagyu. These steaks, except for these, for this, are from Australia. Can you tell them, like, your most recommended? Well, my personal favorite is the what we're gonna cook today, not the bone-in ribeye. But the very popular cut here in the restaurant are the WXS. They get both the juiciness, the butteriness, the fat of Wagyu, but still get that flavor, the meatiness flavor of the steak. I'm so curious how you cook the steak, because when I went to Japan, and then when I asked for salt and pepper, parang the chef was kind of insulted. <laughs> we flavor it now to what we think is should be the flavor without disrespecting the meat. You give it respect by maintaining its soul, which is its flavor. I've never really like understood it that way. It's very simple. Lang. You have a product, may it be mushroom, may it be corn. It has to take like mushroom. It has to taste like corn. Steak. Okay, chef, can you show us how you cook the steak? We left this out room temp. Because when you cook something like a steak, it has to be a little closer to room temp. So at least the cooking will be even. So like I said, this is the black onyx um, angus. So what we do is, you know, you take out most of the blood. As you can see, it, the hand I'm holding it is with a glove. You know, it's more for hygiene. And then just salt and pepper. So we use rock salt and freshly ground pepper. We season it high, para even yung coating. It's not in patches. If you think it's a lot of seasoning, it's not. It's because we're cooking on a grill. Around 30% of the seasoning will just fall into the grill. Then you start off with a very hot grill. So this is the hottest part of the grill. So we just simply place it on the grill. Don't rush it. We only turn it three times. And then we finish it off in the salamander or in the oven. Tikiman time of Chef Mike's fruit of his labor. <laughs> <laughs> On the table is the black onyx bone in rib eye. So, medium rare yung donyas niya. Tapos, we have five sauces. This is the togarashi salt, uh, wasabi salt, chimichurri, chipotle, and the demi glaze. In demi glaze, daw, basically, this is the beef juice. I just kunin natin yung ma pink. That's parsley on top of the meat. Like papa ka fine dye. <laughs> okay. Before we try the sauce, it is muna natin yung meat lang itself. Mm. 
we all saw it earlier, how this was cooked. Wala silang nilagay na any uh, flavorings or sauce or kahit anong nila other nila dito sa meat, but the flavor is so rich. The flavor is straightforward, as chef might have said. The meat is so tender and juicy. Kunin pa natin yung mga beef juice niya. Pagkakakook ng meat niya. With the doneness. The flavor. The texture as well as the flavor of the fat do really enhance the taste of the meat. Ito pa. May fat. Now I see why Chef really loves marbled steaks. So let's go. Okay, let us try naman the sauce. What the heck is this? It's so good. The sauce is cooked for four days. Never yung flavor niya. The appearance of the steak lives up to its taste. Kaya mo siyang papakin without carbs. Okay, speaking of carbs. <laughs> Chef, ano po itong mga badugong dating na dishes niyo? Well, this is our wild mushroom side dish. And this is our mushroom. Okay. So, dito muna tayo sa mushroom. The sauce, though. I'm sure I'm going to put a little bit of Genius combination with the steak. Try naman natin yung togarashi sauce. I have never tried this before. And paano siya sinuscoop? How's the... Okay. Mmm, okay. Okay, that's the proper way <laughs> of adding salt to your steak. Pinch lang. More, more even, more control. It's higher. You can see the particles. It has a little spicy kick. If I'm not mistaken. Another thing I learned from Chef earlier from my Steak 101 is that when you add salt, mat malayo, mataas rather. Basta ganyan. <laughs> you season high daw para yung coverage ng salt na nilalagay mo or pepper or whatever that is, uh, mas malawak yung coverage. So, mas even yung coating. Mag wasabi salt naman tayo. This is such a great experience for me. I've never tried wasabi and togarashi salt on my steak. It's always salt and pepper or... Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yeah, that, that one. Mmm. Interesting. The wasabi isn't too spicy, but it like it adds more zest because of there's a certain spice, although it's not too spicy. You know what I mean? Set up. Nakakaiyak. Ano naman? Chimichurri. Ina-explore lang natin kung paano niya na-enhance yung flavor ng meat. Huwag na tayo magpanggap. Kucharain na lang muna natin. Hmm. 
One word. Kakaiba. Ito yung mga flavors na sobrang bago sa akin. Like, kapag hinahalo mo sa steak kasi, diba, usually pag salt lang, or kapag yung Worcestershire sauce, parang yun yung conventional na flavor ng steak. Pero nung in ko na itong mga to parang, mmm, it's a whole new world of steaks. Last but not the least, the chipotle. Ang hirap naman maging ano, social. <laughs> A little bit on the sweeter side, but it's good because it balances the flavor of the the set the savoriness, if there's such a word, of the steak. <laughs> this one is my little saucer plate of heaven, the demi glazed. It's so good with the steak, but then the steak itself is super, ano ba? Glorious. <laughs> Wow, big word. Spell glorious. Spell glorious. My favorite part of this whole experience, this whole steakhouse experience, is of course, the food. Malamang. But then, other than that, is I learned how they cook steak. Because normally, you just eat them. I slice, I take a bite, I swallow. But then, merong parang art na um, natutunan na kay chef. I don't know if he like acknowledges it as art, but I see it as an elusive kind of thing. Ang dami sinabi. Okay, get to the point, Ara. Tinanong ko siya kanina, like when I went to Japan before, parang may mga chefs na they were kind of insulted na nagpapa-add ka ng flavor dun sa steak na hinain nila sa'yo. Sabi niya, it's because, syempre, you respect the flavor of the meat if that's it. Drops mic. <laughs> and I would just like to thank Chef Mike. So he has passion talaga when it comes to cooking steak. so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Catch our live premieres. We upload new episodes every Wednesday and Friday on GMA Network's YouTube channel. And follow Taste Manila's Instagram account. That's at taste underscore MNL. This is Addison Agustin. Like, share, taste Manila.